안녕하세요. 안타키입니다. In our previous lessons, we learned how to greet someone and how to tell someone our name in Korean. We've also learned how to ask where a person is from and also to answer the question when we are asked what nationality we are. Okay, 지승현 선생님. Yes, do you remember that we can tell our nationality by stating the name of country followed by a simple phrase, 사람입니다. Okay, let's go over that expression to ask where someone is from. 선생님, 어느 나라 사람입니까? 저는 한국 사람입니다. Sometimes people ask the same question in a different way. Now, instead of asking you uh, what nationality you are, they may ask you which country you're from, right? 선생님, could you tell us what that expression is? 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? Yes, we've already learned the meaning for 어느 나라, which means which country, right? And the rest of the expression is new to you, right? So we are going to go to the real situation in the video. Please listen carefully to what's going on. <laughs> The conversation we just saw is similar to what we have learned in our previous lesson, right? But there are a number of new expressions that we will be learning in this lesson. The first difference you may have noticed is that instead of the expression made up of the name of the country followed by 사람입니다, we have another form which is the name of the country followed by the phrase 에서 왔습니다. And the other difference is in the question. Instead of saying 어느 나라 사람입니까, the question is phrased like this. 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? It literally means from which country did you come from? Before we go on, do you remember the Korean words for the names of the countries such as Korea, China and Japan? Well, we are going to add a few more countries to that list, so let's do that before we practice the expressions. 미국 미국 호주 호주, 독일, 독일. 미국 is the United States, 호주 is Australia, and Germany is 독일. Okay, now please try to memorize these country names because they will come in very handy when we practice the expressions. Now let's go over some of the names that we have learned so far. Now let's turn to the video clip. Where did Michael say he was from? He said, Singapore에서 왔습니다. I see. So the expression to tell someone which country you are from would be the name of the country followed by 에서 왔습니다, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get some more practice then. 미국에서 왔습니다. 저는 호주에서 왔습니다. 저는 독일에서 왔습니다. 
Remember, you can either add or omit the phrase chonin, which is equivalent to I am. Okay, why don't we learn how to ask the question then? Okay, so the question is very similar to the answer. Mm -hmm, that's right. Compare as a wasnita with as a wasnika. Only one character is different. We finish the sentence with ga to ask a question. And we finish the sentence with ta to answer the question. Okay, that sounds easy enough. So the expression to ask which country someone is from is? 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? Okay, I hope you got that. Now we're going to get some more practice. We will be asking and answering the question, so please follow along. 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? 미국에서 왔습니다. 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? 독일에서 왔습니다. 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? 호주에서 왔습니다. 콜 there was one more expression at the end of the video clip that we saw earlier everybody in the clip said this expression when they were going their separate ways mm -hmm. yes it was 안녕히 가세요 we say 안녕하세요 when we meet someone and when we part we say 안녕히 가세요 but this expression is used to bid farewell to someone who is leaving certain place and you are staying put in Korea, we have different expressions to say goodbye for different situations. But that's another lesson, so I'm going to teach you that some other time. Okay then, let's go over what we have learned by going to the video one more time. You know that practice makes perfect, so please follow along. Hello, Michael Chan. Hello, Michael Chan. Hello, Hello, Michael Chan. Hello, Michael Chan. Hello, Michael Chan. 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? 일본에서 왔습니다. 일본에서 왔습니다. 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? 저는 싱가포르에서 왔습니다. 
저는 싱가포르에서 왔습니다. <목소리> 안녕히 가세요. 안녕히 가세요. Okay, how was that? Not as difficult as you expected, right? Please keep in mind that practice makes perfect. I say this once again, so please improve your Korean by practicing. Okay, now we are going to take one last look at the video clip, so please listen carefully. Hello, Kim m i n u k 안녕하세요. 저는 마이클 찬입니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? 싱가포르에서 왔습니다. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 마이클 찬입니다. 안녕하세요. 찻도 나오미입니다. 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? 일본에서 왔습니다. 어느 나라에서 왔습니까? 저는 싱가포르에서 왔습니다. 안녕히 가세요. 안녕히 가세요. To learn some Korean characters and to learn their accurate pronunciation. Now, in this lesson, we are going to learn the vowel sound U. Now, if you recall, in our last lesson, we learned the sound O. If you just turn this around like this, it becomes the sound U. Now, isn't that interesting? U. 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 Yes, you make the sound by shaping your mouth into a circle and pushing it out to form the sound U, right? Now we're going to learn how to write this character. Start from the left to the right and then from the top to the bottom. Shall we try reading it? U, U, U. I hope you're all following along at home because, as I said again, practice makes perfect. Right. Now let's learn some words using this character, U. U D. U D. Ko ku ma. 고구마 호수 호수 Now that's all the time we have for this edition of Let's Speak Korean. Please be sure to join us for our next lesson. 안녕히 계세요.